and uh, welcome to the second episode today we have uh, with us uh, jaydeep and he he recently joined swiggy as a sge and we will hear more from him like how is it, how is the experience and uh, how was his interview experience with swiggy so let's welcome jaydeep so hi jaydeep how are you hi gorov i am fine i'm good how are you yeah so how you are feeling now you joined swiggy i think uh, two months ago right uh yeah kind of a little bit more okay uh, so uh, just uh, new joining there okay great like can you tell us more about how you uh, get to know about this opportunity in swiggy and how you approach to the recruiter yeah okay. so regarding the opportunity i got to say this uh, that there was an opening uh, and i asked for a referral from someone in linkedin and then i got a referral from him and then i got a call uh, in, uh, after that i uh, took the interview i accepted and then i got an offer yeah okay great great so uh, yeah so so you have reached uh, to uh, to the recruiter via linkedin right yeah 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 so it not to not the recruiter i reached to some employee and got okay. a referral okay so it was an employee referral yeah yeah it okay. was an employee referral yeah so yeah so employee referral also matters a lot so you do you want to give some advice like uh, about the linkedin profile or if you have seen some uh, job so if you have to re- reach out to any uh, employee for the employee referral yeah you can uh, reach out to any employee of the company in which uh, you want to uh, like get a call from yeah. so uh, basically just uh, you can just type the message them and or uh, like with some uh, professional text and they will in most uh, of the cases they will refer you they will send you a cv if there is a opening you should send the relevant details for those opening and uh, like they are always like look out for mostly the job id and then you could uh, resume to refer you and with this i think you will get referral any company you want so uh, yeah jadeep so uh, moving to our next question what was the interview procedure with swiggy and uh, how many rounds you face so can you tell us more about that so yeah there were around 3 to 4 rounds uh, the interview procedure was uh, like uh, there were ts rounds and uh, you have to answer uh, like solve problems those are the problem solving rounds it will also include your uh, cs fundamentals okay and uh, yeah i think uh, yeah those were it most and if you are going for st2 then you are higher you have to also face the uh, system design round Okay. and apart from them the there will be also hiring manager round in which uh, you like if you get selected or passed through all other rounds then you will uh, reach the hiring manager round in which uh, like some hiring manager will uh, take the trust and that will be the final round yeah this is the pretty much process of going total if you ask then it's around three to four rounds so uh, all the rounds were based on a ds and algo and uh, for you there there was no system design round right uh yeah yeah there were no system design rounds all were mostly yeah ds and algo and then yeah cs fundamentals will also be asked and projects and work of the previous company all those things are there yeah, yeah. it's not only purely ds but yeah. Yeah, it's an amalgamation of all those if someone is going to prepare for for any product based company or let's say swiggy only so what all topics they they must cover before going to uh, attend any interview that yeah, you can't uh, leave out actually the point of interview is that if you don't want to bring all those luck factors into picture yeah. then uh, you should put your 100% that means that you have solved enough problems and uh, you've covered all the topics so enough problems means that might vary for person to person someone uh, can solve 100 problems and get selected and someone else might require to solve 400 problems so yeah that is like you have to see how many problems after solving how many problems you have started feeling yeah, comfortable another, uh, doubt that that people are having uh, while preparing for the interviews so they are always in doubt like uh, am i fully prepared or am, uh, like this like n number of questions i have already solved so is it uh, is it enough to uh, apply for any interview and go to that like attend any interviews so yeah 
see uh, the thing is that you cannot solve all the questions uh, that are available uh, so that is like you are trying to exhaust the website like entire set of questions so you have to like, select few from them let's say around 100 200 and you have to solve them and you have to go for it and you can uh, select them on the basis of some most solved or on some basis of criteria that is already being given in the website and i think after that you can go for it and then, uh, like whatever how many questions you solve you will never uh, like you will always feel that okay i could have done a little more maybe this will be always there before the end so yeah, yeah uh, there is like no fixed number of questions which which can tell that okay after solving let's say 300 questions i can answer all the questions no it's not like that uh, it's like uh, how much your problem solving ability has enhanced over time and over the like solving so many questions that actually matters in the interview so that will help you if some unknown question comes up you can still be able to face it so your concepts wise you should be strong right that's what you yeah mean. concept wise you should be very very strong your basics should be strong like you should be very well aware how the data structure internally works and uh, which data structure should be used in a problem and then uh, the complexity of every operation that the data structure can perform that is also important okay yeah uh, i saw many of my subscribers also ping me uh, like they are somehow uh, afraid of sol uh, afraid of dynamic programming or recursion those kind of topics and they are really unsure from where uh, they can start uh, gaining the concepts so what are your suggestions on that? Uh, for uh, dynamic programming the basic is actually recursion so you have to get to that recursion you can pick uh, recursion problems from lead code or uh, whatever website you prefer solve as many as you can till you are a bit confident or at the point when you can see a problem and you can think of the recursive function for the problem then dynamic programming is basically modified recursion kind of if you are following a top-down dp and that that i think is a lot of recursion itself and nothing else and uh, like it's kind of memoized so it's space optimized recursion and uh, if you are following bottom up dp then you have to come up with uh, the states dp states which are actually the how many uh, variables that change over every function call in the dp Okay. So those variables you have to think about first, and then you have to write the uh, function, like recursive function that the GP will follow. Like how you find the answer to the current state using the previous states. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So Jadi, uh, there's a another question from our one of our subscriber is, uh, let's say they are going to apply for SD one for 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 any company. But uh, they are pretty. Uh, they are not pretty sure. Uh, like, is it the right time uh, for them to to start applying? And uh, and and uh, they are not fully prepared. So, what are your advice for them? Yeah, uh, like while going for applying to different companies, you will actually never feel fully prepared anytime. So, uh, I would recommend that uh, with a certain minimum preparation of uh, let's say around fifty to seventy questions. Once you have solved that, you can go on and apply on the companies that you want. You can at least start applying with some companies. And uh, if you are applying for some bigger companies or let's say some FANG level companies in which you require more preparation, maybe you can increase that benchmark of 50 to 70 question to some larger number. That depends on what is your current preparation level or the uh, like what like how much amount of coding you have done before. It depends on that. But yeah, uh, the process is uh, similar. Okay. Okay, and uh, another follow-up question is: uh, Let's say uh, they have some dream company in their mind, and they just got a call from it, but they don't want to directly apply to that company. They want uh, to uh, to give a shot in some other companies and then go for uh, their dream company. So, uh, what are, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, you can do that. Uh, that actually depends on you. Uh, but uh, like, I think you can do it parallel. Uh, with whatever company you are uh, willing to go first, go for it and then uh, like after some time, let's say after a couple of weeks or some more time, 
you can start uh, you can go and apply on your like dream company whatever you want mostly fang i think uh, jadeep what should be the weightage uh, in terms of percentage uh, between the ds algo and other topics or, or other technology and uh, anyone should uh, should be prepared before applying to sd1 uh i would say that for sd1 role uh, ds algo is very important that is actually the most important like uh, system design or other things are not uh, given so much of importance but yeah uh, some companies do ask for cs fundamentals and also some others ask uh, machine coding around low level design and high level design these are also asked uh, but then uh, i i would say that dsl will is of prime importance and then comes cs fundamentals and system design after that for st1 uh, because if you are not good with your basics then uh, probably you might be might not get selected but for other higher roles uh, system design starts gaining more weightage and importance cool so yeah i think these are the questions that uh, i had from uh, our subscribers and also uh, we post uh, like questions in our telegram channel and telegram group so uh, also uh, we want to mention uh, like uh, there are some uh, facebook groups that we maintain like J jadeep also having uh, uh, is, is maintaining one facebook group which is coding for beginners so do you want to uh, say something about that jadeep yeah you can always uh, join if you want uh, this is not a promotion but yeah, uh, yeah just a mention yeah so yeah uh, definitely you do check it out uh, we will be providing the links into the description and uh, yeah so we also having a codex uh, facebook group so yeah it's not again it's not a promotion but uh, you, you will get to know different people and you will get to know different uh, technology Uh, technology is post on that so yeah uh, if you if you guys are having any other questions you can uh, write it down in the comments section uh, we will try to uh, we'll try to come up with some uh, instagram lives so uh, what do you say jadeep yeah it depends on the response and uh, like what the audiences want if they want something like that we can do it uh, yeah. right. you can uh, always mention in comments uh, if you would like to have something like that yeah sure so yeah that's it for for the second episode of placement stock